Wisconsin man has now been charged in a 1990 rape case from Wapaka County, but the breakthrough may not end there. I hope that he is the guy or had something to do with it. How the discovery is impacting a 1992 double murder investigation tops tonight's Fox 11 News at 5. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Investigators say DNA testing may have provided the breakthrough that they were looking for. Police say the testing connected Glendon Goker to the unsolved rape case, and investigators say that case has some common elements to the 1992 double murder of 23-year-old Tana Togstad and 35-year-old Tim Mumbrew near Wyawega. Fox 11's Chad Doran's been on the story today in our Valley Newsroom this evening. Chad, how did this all come together for these two cases? Well, Tom Glendon Goker was originally a suspect in that 1990 sexual assault case, but authorities say there wasn't enough evidence to prosecute him at the time. And the families of those killed hope investigators will soon be able to give them closure. It's been a lot of years. Rick Togstead has more than 20 years of searching for answers in this shoebox. If I think about it, it makes me very angry, gets me very upset. In 1992, Togstead's sister, Tana, and her boyfriend, Tim Mumbrew, were stabbed to death in this home in the town of Royalton. Now, Wapaka County authorities say a man linked to a 1990 sexual assault in this park in Iola could lead to a break in the murder case. This is huge. If we can get information for our double homicide cold case, um, even better. Sheriff Brad Hartle would not say how Glendon Goker is linked to the murder case. A state crime lab analysis in 2011 matched Goker's DNA to DNA from the sexual assault in Iola. While Hartle would not elaborate, he says there are similarities that have investigators looking closely at each case. If you take a look at the, the uh, attributes of the crime, there's some things that are similar, so um, things like that may, may help us look that way. Hartle says there have been a number of persons of interest in the double murder case, but never a suspect. Hartle says a billboard asking for information on the case will go up just outside of Wapaka this week. Uh, there's enough information that uh, with the right people and the, and the right information that uh, we could maybe solve this, this crime. I hope Rick Togstead and other families share. Every time they call, I hope it's the big break. Goker is currently in jail in Oklahoma. He's accused of killing a 19-year-old man and allegedly kidnapping and raping the victim's girlfriend in 2010. He will be in Wapaka County Court in connection with the 1990 sexual assault case on Thursday morning. Now, Wisconsin has a six-year statute of limitations on the prosecution for first-degree sexual assault cases. But Sheriff Hartle says Goker has been living in Oklahoma since 1993, putting that time limit on hold. Now, if he is convicted in the rape case, Goker could face up to 25 years in prison. Reporting live in the Fox Valley Newsroom, Chad Doran, Fox 11 News.